If you ask me who's the most dynamic, who's the most impressive fighter, immediately only one name comes to mind, Anderson Silva. Esteja bem preparado para lutar. There's guys that are talented fighters and there are guys that stand out. Chris Weidman is one of those. Weidman tem um bom jiu-jitsu? Tem. Ele tem um bom wrestle? Tem. Mas ele precisa boa base em pé para completar. He is the greatest martial artist the world has ever known. I've been dreaming about this fight with Anderson Silva since I started MMA. Classic Anderson Silva gets you to feel comfortable and pow, out of nowhere, he will hurt you and take you out. I'm going to be walking forward, I'm going to be using my length, mixing up between my takedowns and my punches. You know, I'm not going to be going backwards too much. Standing guillotine, trying to lock it in, and it's all over! He'd be a fool not to respect me as a fighter. On July 6th, when we step in that cage, he's going to have respect for me. The term great fighter gets thrown around a lot and there are levels of great fighters, but the highest level of mixed martial arts fighter the world has ever seen exists right now. And it exists embodied in one man. I don't think there is any question whatsoever that Anderson Silva represents the most spectacular version of a martial arts fighter the world has ever seen. Are you kidding me? I think what Anderson Silva has been able to pull off inside the octagon against the elite of the elite makes it seem like he's competing on another frequency. Anderson went back to the cage. He's standing there on the cage on purpose. The greatness that Anderson Silva displays inside the octagon is a rare gift. Intelligence, discipline, and great training and trainers all come together and are embodied by one special athlete. Anderson Silva! Let's get this thing started. Who has the first question? As a president to market him here, I don't know if it's been difficult or is it just his talent you market and can you talk about him compared to where he is in Brazil and how people respond to him in different places and you trying to market him as your best guy throughout the years. He's massive in Brazil, he, he's the man in Brazil and uh, he's pretty much the man all over the world. I mean when Anderson Silva fights people want to see it. You know something incredible and something special is going to happen when this guy fights. You know a lot of people do talk about that first fight with Chael Sonnen and Anderson Silva and how much that set the blueprint. How much of that do you take into your game plan going into this fight? You know, I've, I've watched that fight live. I watched it maybe one other time, so it's not like I'm exploring that fight and trying to do exactly what Chael does. I'm going to be Chris Wyvin. I'm not going to be Chael Sonnen, and uh, I think that's a more devastating matchup for him than Chael Sonnen was. So. The odds makers here at the MGM currently have Anderson Silva roughly about a two and a half to one favorite. It's been a long time since those odds have been so close. Your thoughts, are you at all surprised at how tight those odds are? Yeah, I think these, these are the lowest odds Anderson Silva's ever fought, uh, fought with in a long time. So there's a lot of questions both ways. There's only one way to find out, and we'll find out Saturday night. You go back to the odds on, on, the, on Anderson. Do you almost think it's like, if you can correlate it to Floyd, like, he's won so long, are they looking for a reason to say, hey, this guy's the guy, he can beat him, or do you think there's legitimacy to this? Nobody talks about him being 38, because he doesn't act like, look like, or come across like he's 38 years old, you know? So I, I think that's it. And Chris Weidman, you know, many people respect him. And, uh, when, when a lot of other fighters start talking about a guy the way that this guy has been talked about, Odds makers got to look at that too. This is the simple opinion. I have my opinion. The other fights have the opinion. It's normal. Does that put a little extra motivation into you when you hear stuff like that? Te dá uma motivação extra isso? Ah, no. It's normal. Because uh, this is normal for me. I train for for a long time. I, I I like training. I like fight. Now this is the final. It's the final step to getting my goal of winning that belt, being able to provide for my family, you know, a lot better. And just, uh, this is, and, I, and it's very 
very winnable fight for me. I just got to go out there and do my thing. I'm just excited for it. UFC fans, it's great to be back in Las Vegas as we welcome you to the official weigh-ins for UFC 162, Silva versus Weidman. Here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, my friends? Welcome to the weigh-ins. to kiss Anderson Silva. He has nice lips, nice lips. My wife, don't get jealous. Give us your thoughts on Anderson and what tomorrow night means to you. Tomorrow night, history is being made. Love it or hate it, on the dogs on top. Good luck to you, sir. Chris Weidman, ladies and gentlemen. All the fights, to, the, the fight tomorrow is the best fight in the world. No me. I fight for Chris. Chris have the chance for the belt tomorrow. I go to fight for my fans. That's it. Anderson, the Spider Silva, ladies and gentlemen. Tenho as condições uh, e as habilidades necessárias para isso. I'm gonna put non-stop pressure on him, get my hands on him. Once that my hands are on him, he's in my world. I'm gonna put him on the ground. I'm gonna look to pass his guard, look to submit him, and get my belt. We are live inside the sold out MGM Grand Garden Arena. His success in the octagon has been nothing short of extraordinary. He is without a doubt the greatest mixed martial arts fighter we've ever seen. I think Chris Weidman is a dangerous threat. He's a very physically strong man. And yesterday at the official weigh-ins. Yeah, it got real at the, at the weigh-ins. They face to face, gave each other a little kiss. Iron Mike Tyson here tonight inside the MGM Grand Garden Arena watching UFC 162, and so is that man. 11 knockouts for Silva in the UFC. That's one of his many UFC records. 14 of Silva's 16 UFC wins have come by stoppage, including highlight reel finishes of Chael Sonnen and Vitor Belfort. But keep in mind that Weidman has plenty of power, as displayed in his knockout of the night performance against Mark Munoz. I've been dreaming about this fight with Anderson Silva since I started MMA. I've envisioned beating him. This is the first time I've ever looked at a guy and I've said, this guy could be the guy. He could beat Anderson Silva. I don't have a good wrestler, I need to train my wrestler to be able to me compare and reach the level of him. And once I beat him to silver, I'll be the man at middleweight. The man is here! What is he doing? He's going to throw the ball and he's going Whether or not that confidence makes any sense, we're going to find out in about 10 minutes. Yes, we are. But I'll tell you this. What we've seen from him inside the octagon is exceptional. The middleweight title last changed hands in October of 2006 when Anderson Silva defeated Rich Franklin. Silva, 38 years old, as Joe mentioned. Chris Weidman, just 29 years old. Everything else is virtually Identical. It's time! The challenger, Chris Weidman! Anderson, the Spider Silva! Follow my instructions. We're going to have a clean fight. Let's touch gloves and make it a fist. Or not. As we know, Anderson often early calculates what his beautiful, opponent is going to do. Deep shot, and he's got him down. Very nicely done. Wide been able to posture up a bit here, Joe. He's not landing clean shots, but he's landing shots. If Weidman goes in, what he wants to do 
is figure out some way to get up. Oh, that's a good shot. shot right there. Trying to work on it. Spinning is Silva. But he's got and Anderson's out. He loses the position. He's the master at that. Sizing up an opponent and then pouncing and finishing. Oh, wow. Yeah, interesting. Again. Wow, big shots there by Weidman. But well, Weidman's got to be careful of the knees here. He's, he's one of a kind. He landed that one. Good leg kick by Anderson. Quick jab. This is not what Weidman wants to do. He does not want to get in a kickboxing bout for his ego. Again, hard leg kicks by Anderson. This is why he's so special. He's, he's not even attempting to take him down. I just got to think while well, Anderson stands straight up like that. I uh, just kissed him. I want you to punch a hole in this fucking chest. That's what I want. Everything else is good. Don't get careless. You're looking good. Round two. Bring it. I like Green Longos. <laughs> I'm just shocked that Weidman has an attack. There it is. There it is. And he yep. stuffed it. Stuffed it. Anderson. Oh, my God. He got hit. Look at the finish. It is all over. Chris oh Weidman is the UFC. Wow. You can't play games in the octagon. Even if you're Anderson Silva. Man. Unbelievable. And he pretends to be hurt, but this one hurts. Boom! On the chin. Anderson's hurt. That one finishes him off. He's out cold. Boom! On the chin. Caught him flat. Both legs parallel. Look at this. Left hook on the chin. The eyes roll back. And Anderson at this point, if he's aware, realizes he made a huge mistake. And no! USC middleweight champion of the world. Thank God, the only way this could have happened is God. He's the unbeatable freaking Bruce Lee of mixed martial arts. And thank God he gave me the power to do it. Chris, congratulations on one of the most spectacular performances I've ever seen in all the years of watching mixed martial arts. Congratulations, sir. Chris Weidman, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get your thoughts on uh, tonight? Obviously, uh, uh, you know, a, a crazy night. Uh, seeing a lot of talk of, of a fix. People saying it didn't look right. Uh, have you seen any of that? Do you hear any of that? People are saying what? That it was a fix. That there oh, was yeah, something, that was fixed. You yeah. know, especially... That's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. A lot of guys will mentally shut down and go, what the hell am I doing? I'm in here with Anderson Silva. You know what I mean? I can't even hit the guy. He's playing with me right now. And he didn't. Stayed focused, kept moving forward, and kept trying to finish until he did. And just last question, if I could for you. Anderson said in, in the cage that he wasn't interested in a rematch. Have you had any discussion with him? I guarantee you, no matter what he says publicly, we've had this conversation before. Uh, you know, I guarantee you there's nothing he wants more than that rematch with Chris Weidman. Dana, you don't think that was disrespectful of Anderson to, to do that to Chris and, and also to the, the fans who paid money to come here to see him? I'm going to punch you in the face and try to knock you out. I'm going to try to kick your leg off, and if I grab your arm, I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to strangle you if I get your neck, but I don't want to disrespect you. Okay, so, but I guess what I'm saying is, I mean, and you're saying it was a great fight. You know, he wasn't fighting. I, mean, I was, my in. fucking heart was in my stomach. I, my hands were sweating. My jacket is soaked. I almost fainted twice. After Anderson first dropped his hands and tried to pull you into a fight, what went through your head? Uh, I, I do really good. You know, we brought all these national champion boxes, and I'm, they, they never came back for sparring. I believe in my, I believe in my stand-up, but again, again, I'm going against Anderson Silva, so everybody telling you know you want to go for your takedowns. <clears throat> but when you when you mix it up, things like that happen. Does that frustrate you at all that that you know perhaps he took that from you to a degree that rather than the story in a lot of people's minds being that you beat this guy after so many years of dominance that instead in a lot of people are thinking rather about what Anderson did rather than what you did it's not like he's not letting his defense down it looks like he is but he, he knows exactly what he's doing and uh, I capitalized on it uh, a lot of other guys couldn't do that and so I'm not I'm not trying to take that away from myself Treinei quatro meses para essa luta só que ele foi melhor hoje I got caught, so obviously my game plan didn't work tonight, and uh, I can't make any excuses. Uh, it is what happened. I never uh, would 
a fight a, a fight to lose, and I trained four months for this fight to win this fight, so it is what happened. I lost the fight, it fights the fight. Do you, do you remember at all what was going through your head, you know, as, as Bruce was, you know, announcing you as new champion, belt getting wrapped around your waist? You know, what, what's, what's going through your head at the, those specific moments? <clears throat> I tried to make it as real as possible leading up, but um, it still feels a little far-fetched no matter what. You keep trying to reel it in and make it feel uh, more believable. And so anytime, you know, what I just accomplished, it feels surreal, you know, and uh, it's, it's unbelievable. It still hasn't settled in for sure. Before the fight, I think it was at the pre-fight presser, you said we could print that there would guaranteed be a rematch between these two, but Anderson said he wants a few months off to think about it. I don't, I don't think you want to keep Chris Weidman on the shelf, so are things just kind of up in the air and you have to wait? It's been a long time since this guy has lost a fight. And I'm sure he forgets what it feels like to lose a fight. And, and, and like he said, there's a lot of pressure that goes along with, with, with defending the title and all the other things that go on. So maybe a rematch, maybe Chris defends against someone else. We'll just to be determined. Yeah. Rematch. <laughs>